それでは時間となりましたので。Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for waiting. It's time、uh, for us to start the last presentation. Takayuki Aoki is going to make a presentation now. The title、uh, is The、uh, Introduction of Chinese Sprint、uh, to Japan.、えー、それでは、はい、改めまして、えー、海の見える森美術館、学芸員。My name is、uh, Takayuki Aoki. I've been、uh, involved in the collection of、uh, social prints and the related materials.、Uh, in this presentation, I would like to introduce uh, uh, Chinese prints in Japan as proof prints. And the focus on the works in the collected by,、uh, museum, my, by our museum. And when the ch Chinese prince has c a m e to Japan, and whose hand they have passed through, and what kind of influence the paintings the prince、uh, had on Japan culture, I would like to trace some examples. And at all, so those prints, where it, it is uh, uh, stored. And it also considers the significance and then to the meanings of those prints to Japan. So, the, all images that used in this presentation s are the collections of Uri Umino Mori、uh, Museum. I'd like to remark, and I'm going to show you this presentation. s So, first of all, It is important to confirm that the Chinese prints for the Japan Ukiyo-e. As mentioned in uh, Dr. Uh, Oki's、uh, presentations, prints in stories have a variety of、uh, expressions, such as those are the composition. Like an、uh, illusion in the printed book. And、uh, with a composition like a vertical hanging scroll, depicting like a scene from a piece of a、uh, piece of stories, piece of a performance. And a scene from the like. From、uh, serial stories, and when you make a close up, and then you can review the one story from seven. These pictures are almost representing the contemporary manga. Once you give a close up, and at each The、each square will give a, a small description s and showing you which contents of the picture. Within one landscape, and there are a lot of stories included. The story is starting from right top and at the left bottom. And this print it concludes as one big. Stories, and if you separate it in, you also able to separate it in different pictures. If, if it's a big story, if it's a big print, that it has to, it, it can only be a hand on the wall, but once, as long as it can be divided into pieces and it can be separated and to、uh, just distribute and sell, and it can be enjoyed. Uh, in hand, and then also one piece can be separately enjoyed as one painting to be handed on the wall. This is a, a, not only the story, not only the stories, and however, that it develops within the single landscape and then the western technique and then also be included as such as a line perspective and the shading and then those technique are able to、uh, influence the in the prints 
For example, the almost like in the oil paintings and the very detailed, very dense coloring, very dense sketches was included in this paper. Other works include Western style pieces with the rich and dense coloring, reminiscent of oil paintings. There were also works that was done on three-dimensionally sculpted paper. The technique equivalent to Japan's harazuri was completed in China before Japan. The reason I presented these Chinese prints from here was because before Kiyoe artists such as Harunobu Hokusai and Hiroshige were active in Japan, these colorful prints were already being produced in China. Such diverse and beautiful prints were already circulating in the China Chinese regular people before ukiyo-e proliferated in Japan. The works you are currently uh, viewing are believed to be Chinese woodblock, woodblock prints that were introduced to, J to Japan during the Edo period. So let's take a look at some actual examples of how these prints, which we believe were brought to Japan during the Edo era period, left their mark in Japan. During the Edo period, there was a trend uh, to enshrine a wago deity. According to chronological table of Musashi Edo written by Saito Kekisen, uh, it is noted that the trend of enshrined uh, wago deity began with the Chinese woodblock print. Because there were only a few Chinese woodblock prints that have been uh, preserved in those days, they were not able to meet the stronger demand in Japan. Therefore, Japan also produced a large number of imitations. In records of these uh, reproductions, it is noted to ensure that the miraculous powers of Wago Deity never fade were replicated exactly down to every detail, just like a single print from China. As such, they are both exact replicas and depictions of uh, Wago uh, Deity that were created based on Chinese woodblock prints, uh, but with a personal touch. The works that were replicated faithfully lack the artist's seal, while those that incorporated the painter's unique style appear to bear the artist's seal. This artwork was created by Kitagawa Utamaro II. The what supported the demand for such yukiyoe was perhaps the desire of the common people in an Edo who wanted to adorn their homes with images of wago deity that resonated with their own sensibilities more than the faith in a wago deity. There are other examples of wago deity illustrations. This is a Chinese woodblock print. This artwork, with the cooperation of Matsudaira Sadanobu, was replicated so faith faithfully like this. Like this, the identical uh, ones are uh, reproduced. The Ukiyawa Okiwe artist Hitokawa Eizan, Kikukawa Eizan, the Ukiyoe artist uh, made a product like this. Just like this in Japan, uh, pr producing a Chinese print exactly the same as the Chinese print, at the same time trying to um, generate based on the, um, the unique feelings. And the same similar things started uh, from the, the very early time. This is the um, the copy of the Chinese print. But uh, here, uh, there's expressions which didn't exist at then in Chinese print. It's like a puffy um, cheek, 
the cut at the trim downs which are not deserve our high ranking people and these feet so these characteristics of the bodily uh, characteristics are somehow uneasy things and which uh, usually are not depicted in Chinese Chinese print. So somebody who don't know um, the Chinese jarn, but the Japanese uh, artist um, painted this or uh, modified this uh, for Japan. Uh, please take a close look. Uh, this is the um the more or copy transformed into um the print of uh, ukiyo-e. This is the Okumura uh, Masanobu's uh, work, uh, which is uh, design is exact, in, uh, identical uh, to the um ukiyo -e. Okumura Masanobu, referring to uh, Sujo print. That it created uh, ukiyo-e like this one. So from Europe uh, through China, uh, those introduced um, pictorial techniques uh, will be discussed. This um, perspective technique uh, was incorporated into Suzhou print, incorporating a Western essence into Suzhou print, and Japan Japanese artists uh, copied and learned. This is ukiye, ukiyoe uh, was generated in that way. So this perspective technique uh, generated and produced various ukiyoes. So 100 years later, the same or the similar designs and uh, compositions were found. At the uh, upper part for the foreground, uh, I'm sorry, the design, although are not very clear, uh, may have um, impact, significant impact on uh, many uh, ukiyo-e artists. Just not only like Chinese through Chinese uh, print, but uh, Chinese print have impacted uh, Japanese ukiyo-e in many ways. The similarities uh, with Chinese print were pointed out by Suzuki and uh, Okumura, Okumura, Okumura. So let's take a look at one example. This um, child uh, is uh, skipping. Very characteristic design. Uh, that work has some similarities with this uh, Chinese print. So if you uh, side by side, this is how they look like. In ukiyo-e print, this uh, composition or layout is very rare. The uh, picture is inversed. So ukiyo-e appears to be inversed if uh, the design is similar to Chinese uh, print. And Nagasaki uh, in, uh, prints also have some similarities. So this type of um, composition is in uh, the Chinese uh, paintings. So we cannot hastily conclude that this is the impact from Chinese imprint, um, the Chinese prints, but uh, this is also inversed. The um, hanga or the wood print uh, is the media to communicate with the uh, people. So unlike uh, the single piece of uh, paper, many people can uh, get them. And to uh, communicate uh, to many people, instead of a handmade um, painting, uh, probably advantage is with uh, in, uh, print. So um, let's take a 
uh, footprint uh, of um, this. This is the Ontario President at West Lake on the left, and the one on the ra right uh, is the copy. Uh, very uh, meticulously uh, copied, and who copied it? and uh, which uh, school or oh, this artist belongs to. And there's no um, artist sign, but it was meticulously copied. There's another example. This is a magnificent palace of Suzhou print. The, this is the uh, copy of the exactly, um, exact that um, print. So the horses and the figures This is the, um, the imperial residence at West Lake of Suzhou, uh, Chinese um, print. Yamamoto Jacqueline is set to um, write this imperial residence at West Lake. The one on the left, crystal phone uh, print, before uh, this crystal phone print was found, the one on the right, uh, the Chinese print, uh, let's take a look at the colors. This is the um, Chinese print uh, shows uh, is using uh, Persian blue in large quantities. And on the entire surface, you can see um, the Persian blue is used. Persian blue was introduced to Japan in large quantities after uh, these works were made uh, around 1826. In Japan, the Persian blue was used, began to be used around 1829, and Hokusai Hiroshige and many uh, artists, Ukiyoe artists, started using Persian blue uh, from 1830. So Beroai in Japanese, the use of Persian blue uh, was, the Chinese print was preceding the use of Persian blue. Let's take a look at the, um, the, the record here. Uh, let's take a look at the um, mounting in Ch mainland China. Uh, print, Chinese prints were not uh, carefully stored, rather uh, they were something to be consumed uh, in daily life. But uh, those products introduced to um, Japan were stored as uh, expensive or uh, high-end products and they were mo uh, mounted uh, to uh, scroll. Karagyo-e is what is written here. In 1861, it was mounted uh, in Japan, or maybe modified in Japan. The owner of Chinese uh, prints, the ukiyo-e artist, referred to Chinese prints. Uh, the artists themselves and uh, literati and wealthy people are probably the owners of Chinese prints. The Morishima uh, Churyo uh, is the Chinese print. These um, Chinese print, print was sent by Kenkado Kimura, representative of uh, literati in Japan. Morishima Churyo, representative or uh, intellectual uh, person um, in 
Edo, uh, it seems that it appears that they exchange Chinese prints with each other. Yuki Hoshizaki, an inventor, Hiraga Gennai, uh, they have exchanges on Chinese prints. Uh, draw attention uh, among uh, people, uh, intellectual people. So people other than um, artists, uh, they exchange uh, uh, prints with each other. Behind the scroll, it says Kansei Hachine from given by Ta Taniguchi. So, but, uh, it, it's, it's not very clear who this guy is. But it is it, um, so we can say we can see that the uh, Chinese prints have been um, exchanged uh, among individuals. The shogun uh, or feudal lord were um, given uh, have given to um, other people. So it's clear that those uh, high-ranking people uh, enjoy um, prints. So not large in quantities, but uh, you can see that we can see that uh, those these people have purchased uh, Chinese prints. So after Edo period, the Chinese uh, prints were available in the market. Tokushi Yusho, the Buddhist scholar, uh, owned uh, this. And he said uh, it was very cheap at the night stall, on, it cost only 50 cents. So probably in current monetary value, probably it's around 10,000 yen. After Meiji period, the Tomioka Tessai, the Japanese style painter, the beginning of 17th century, uh, he has collected quality uh, Suzhou prints. In Tenri uh, Library, uh, 21 uh, prints were stored. Uh, Ishi Hakute, the Western style painter and printer maker, and Kimura Sohachi, and businessman Nagami uh, Tokutaro are well known owners or collector of Chinese prints. And uh, what it should be noted that uh, Okada Isanjiro, because his collection are outstanding in terms of quality and quantities. And his uh, collection alone can uh, have uh, exhibit exhibitions. Uh, let's look, uh, look at the uh, Okada collection. Okada collection, Okada collection uh, started around 1923. Kuroda Genji begins a serious study of Chinese prints. Uh, Kuroda Genji published Japanese paintings influenced by the West. Uh, he discussed the um the relationship uh, with the um uh, Chinese print influenced by Kuroda art dealer Misumi Sadakichi begins collecting Chinese prints. The Okada Isanjiro buys a Musumi's entire collection of Chinese prints, 1931 exhibition of Chinese prints collected by the late, um, late Okada Ishi Isanjiro was held in Tokyo. In 1932, the catalog of old Chinese prints uh, was published and the Kuroda Genji Soshu Hanga research work uh, was uh, accompanied. With Kuroda's efforts and the German uh, National uh, Library and Museum, the Okada's collection uh, went overseas and the exhibition was held in Germany. So, Japanese prints, uh, Chinese prints uh, introduced to Japan 
uh, went overseas and uh, they were seen by the general public. A post-war collection, Tokuriku Tomikichiro, Nakayama Zenji, Nishimura Harukichi are uh, well-known collectors of Chinese prints. Their collections uh, were um, exhibited uh, in Taiwan and uh, Japan and in disclosed to the general public. The public entities uh, with the Chinese prints collection ten, uh, include Tenri Central Library, Kobe City Museum, uh, Machida City Museum of Graphic Arts. Umimori Art Museum uh, is set to be uh, set to own the largest amount of Chinese prints. Upon opening 1985, Umimori Art Museum started collecting Chinese prints. In 1986, the so Suzhou uh, print exhibition was held. And for about 40 years after that, collection and exhibitions have been held. 700 prints, including the modern ones, approximately 3,000 uh, Chinese prints were held, held by uh, Umimori Art Museum. And every year um, they have been conducting a research um, workshop and uh, special edition of uh, Koka focusing on the Umimori uh, was published. The Chinese prints introduced to Japan uh, were more uh, mounted uh, to scrolls as a product of culture. And recently, the Chinese um, prints uh, went um, to the West and uh, went back to China. So as we have seen so far, Chinese prints introduced to Japan impacted uh, Japanese culture and have been recognized by many people. Chinese prints, uh, not only the artistic um, aspect, but also other um, information uh, come from those Chinese prints. And I think in the future, we can utilize Chinese prints uh, as uh, his, his historical uh, resources. So uh, this concludes my um, presentation. Thank you very much indeed for your attention.